I'm Charlotte Monroe. I've been dismissed by Bart's Health Trust after 26 years of working at Whips Cross Hospital as an occupational therapist and a moving and handling coordinator where I helped to build the service. I'm also a chair, the chair of our Unison branch. In 2009, I was given an award by Whips Cross Board, both for my clinical work and for campaigning to save our hospital. What follows is a statement put together by three East London community campaigns in my support. They read this statement out this morning at Bart's Health Trust board meeting. Um, on behalf of NHS community campaigns in East London and many others outraged by the decision to sack Charlotte Monroe, we wish to make the following statement. And th this the is the statement that you passed around? Yes. 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 Okay. The government states that it wants staff to feel safe to speak out if they see or hear anything uh, that could compromise patient care. Bart's Health says that it subscribes to the same policy, yet Charlotte Monroe has been sacked. We say because of her work as a trade union rep, not for the main reason she was originally dismissed for, speaking to the local group of people. As a trade union rep, she had consulted some of her members on what you claim was a confidential plan, and for assault charges that she had not disclosed, dredged, dredged up from 20 or 30 years ago. These were protests that resulted in encounters with the police. In other words, it seems that you were determined to dismiss her. It has long been accepted in the NHS that anyone carrying out trade union activities should not result in personal detriment or damage to shop stewards. But UBART's health, again, seems to have ignored this. It is your action that is bringing the trust into disrepute by bullying staff and sending out messages, we are bully Barts, do not speak out or we will get you. We represent the residents of the boroughs you serve. It is our taxes that fund you. It is our lives that you are charged with caring for, and we do not like your attitude towards staff. We want staff to speak out and to feel free when, and safe whenever they see or hear anything that they think arises um, for patient safety and to protect services to patients. You say you want this too, but you will now have a hard job convincing staff that you are genuine. Your current message to staff says, beware, Bully Barks will get you and jump on you if you step out of line. Your action is not one of a good employer. Oppressed, unhappy staff do not make good carers. The lessons from mid stats make this clear, but you seem to want to ignore these lessons. We regard the press statement that you have issued, issued as deliberately painting a picture of a violent criminal amongst your staff. Your statement was misleading in that you admitted to say that the event which you complained about took place more than 30 years ago. To quote from Charlotte's response to your statement, uh, my convictions were 35 to 40, 44 years ago. I trained as an before I trained as an occupational therapist and arose from encounters with police on campaigning against injustice and for a better world, including against racist killings, against apartheid and against war. We, the campaigns, therefore demand that you apologise to Charlotte Monroe and reinstate her as the loyal, long-serving and trusted NHS worker that she has been for the past 30 years. You want to be seen and heard as a compassionate, listening organisation. Now is your chance. We are waiting. Thank you very much. Charlotte's case is bad enough but it has implications for all of us who work in the NHS. NHS staff are being put in an impossible position. The government, as exemplified in the Francis report, says that NHS staff should speak out where there are risks to patient care. If staff do speak out, then they risk their managers doing to them what Bart's Health Trust have done to Charlotte. There is a clear expectation in the Code of Conduct for Health Professionals that they should speak out and raise concerns if there are risks in the environment of patient care. If anything goes wrong, 
staff get blamed, what would you do? We urge you to send the link to this film far and wide. Join Keep Our NHS Public or your local NHS campaign group. Defend Charlotte Munro and all that she stands for. Defend our NHS. Defend and protect NHS staff. 